This is a 68-year-old female who presented with right-sided leg pain. I like to start with the sagittal T2 weighted scan on this patient and what one sees almost immediately is a mass which has bright signal intensity centrally but has a low signal intensity along the periphery and it is at the L4-5 level. Looking at the lumbar spine, the discs don't actually look too bad. There's not really much in the way of decreased disc signal intensity or indentation on the fecal sac. The patient has just one small little annular fissure here at the L5-S1 level. If we look on our T1-weighted scan, we're not able to see the mass very well at the L4-5 level, but it is not the same signal intensity as the cerebrospinal fluid, and it is, once again, localized to the right of midline, as we see scrolling from the midline to the right side. At this point, we should go to the axial scans. On this axial t 2 weighted scan through the representative level, we see that there is the mass, which again has bright signal intensity centrally, but has a low signal intensity periphery, and it's intimately associated with the facet joint. Not only is it intimately associated with the facet joint, but we can see that the facet joint itself shows moderate degenerative changes with spurring posteriorly, and there seems to be thickening and hypertrophy of the ligamentum flavum as well. This mass is compressing the fecal sac. And not only that, but we see that the nerve roots within the fecal sac are compressed on the right side. If we try to follow the L5 nerve root back to the fecal sac, we see it's being compressed by the mass. Now, what's to account for this low signal intensity around the periphery? Well, the best diagnosis here ends up being a synovial cyst. And synovial cysts are known to have the propensity for hemorrhage. The low signal intensity, therefore, is most likely secondary to hemosiderin blood products in the periphery of the synovial cyst. Alternatively, the low signal intensity could be due to displaced ligamentous fibrous uh, tissue that might account for the low signal intensity as well. But in any case, this does seem to be the source of the patient's right-sided pain. And then to window this for the uh, T1-weighted pulse sequence, and this is a non-contrast T1-weighted scan showing a little bit of bright signal intensity blood products, again compressing the fecal sac. So in summary, at the L4-5 level, we have a large synovial cyst on the right side compressing the fecal sac as well as the right L5 nerve root accounting for the patient's right side.